Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we're going to be talking today about some new content coming for Sonic Frontiers. I normally don't do a lot of gaming content videos, but I will start doing some of these because I feel I need to diversify my content a little bit, although I will continue to call out the weirdos that talk a bunch of crap about Eric July, but it seems like they're quiet today, so we're just going to do a, a video that's positive. So, you know, Sonic Frontiers writer Ian... Flynn confirms his return for DLC, promises new content will be truly important. Writer Ear Flynn has confirmed he will return, return to write the DLC story for Sonic Frontiers, promising it will be truly important. I hope it's very good because Sonic Frontiers is a pretty decently written and written game. Gameplay is pretty fun. Former writer of the Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comic, Flynn is the lead writer for IDW Publishing Sonic the Hedgehog comic series and Sega Sonic Frontiers. Speaking on Twitter... Flynn addressed early rumors for of his continued involvement. Quote, since it's been making the rounds, I'm back for the Sonic Frontiers DLC story. As before, the events and key details were supplied by Kishimoto-san, and my job was to flesh it out. The team is extremely hardworking and ambitious. The DLC will be truly important, assured Flynn of closing with the hashtag knowing smile hashtag. Weird. Like hashtag Sonic Frontiers before, I can't say more than that at all. Flynn later said in a follow-up tweet, adding, asking at Bumblecast, Flynn's podcast alongside music con connoisseur Kyle Krauss won't work either, you sneaky devils. He then concluded, you'll just have to wait for the teasers and promos, which I also contributed to, once again, using the cheeky hashtag knowing smiles. Sega and Sonic Team have promised a trio of free updates to Sonic Frontiers with the first having launched in March. This added a handful of new features such as photo mode, jukebox, and new challenge modes. The other updates promised to bring new Koso to find a new open new open zone challenges, some unspecified celebration of the Sonic series anniversary, as well as new playable characters and story. Aside from the digital deluxe edition, DLC for the game thus far includes Monster Hunter and Christmas costumes, along with Sonic's soap shoes from Sonic Adventure 2, the latter to those who joined the game's newsletter prior to January 31st. Whether Flynn's work will apply to separate paid DLC or part of the third update, free update is unclear. So yes, I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm glad they're still, you know, doing content for this game. I really did enjoy this game. If you are a Sonic fan and you enjoyed Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, I recommend this game. It does have its own problems. I do think it's a solid grounding for new open world Sonic games, and I really hope they move forward and, you know, update this game and add some new features going forward into the next Sonic game. But I do hope that this content really is well received and that they will make a sequel to Sonic Frontiers. I know and again this I know this isn't the content people are used to, but it's something I have talked about on this channel. I have made videos on Sonic Frontiers, so I figured this would be a good video to do. But I do hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do like Sonic Frontiers, you hit the like button. If you have if you have any comments about this, leave them below. Let me know how you felt about Sonic Frontiers if you've played the game, or if you've not played the game, or you thought about playing it. I think I think it's a well, pretty well put together game. I think it's pretty decent. So subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set it to all. That way you get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.